no muscle. <laughs> So the results are in. So yesterday I made the worst mistake that I could possibly make. That's crazy. We're done. In the span of one week, literally seven days doing this challenge, I have gained. My mental health could never. <laughs> so I have dedicated myself one full week for exercises dedicated to my bum in hopes to hopefully have a bigger bum by the end of this seven days. The exercises that I'm gonna be doing once every day for the next week is Daisy Keech's Big Booty Workout. I think the workout was called like her quarantine bubble bum workout. Obviously it came out when quarantine was a thing. I'll link the video and give her credit and everything down below. So if you want to follow along with me on this journey and do the exercises for seven days, you can do. But yeah, I have done this challenge once before in the past. I think it's coming up to two years ago and you guys have made it my most viewed video on my entire channel, which I cannot believe. It's so crazy to say that. So here we are again, two years later, remaking the exact same video, putting myself through the pain, but also the gains because it's worth it in the end. So hopefully, fingers crossed this time, I can actually improve my results. Also, I've not decided if I'm going to be carrying on this challenge for the next month or not. I might do though, I'm not sure. I have already completed day one. That was yesterday and it ended up not going great, but I did stop like a few times. Like I had to because I'm a full beginner. Even though I've done this challenge two years ago, I don't go to the gym. I don't do any sort of like muscle strength training, like nothing. Like my bum is pure fat no muscle. So I had to stop a few times. <laughs> yeah, if you are new and you're doing this challenge with me or alongside me, or you're thinking of doing this challenge, if you can't get through the workout without stopping 10 times, that is completely normal. And I am here to show you in this video that it does get better by the end of the week. Keep going, stick to it. You will see the gains, I promise you. I think throughout the week, I might show you like snippets of what I'm eating as well. Not that it really matters because at the end of the day, I will be eating normally. Like I'm not gonna do any crazy diets or try and do anything differently. I'm just gonna be eating like normal. I feel like that's the perfect test to see if this is actually a good workout or not. Even with the amount of times that I stopped yesterday, honestly, today I've woke up a bit sore. So that means that there's progress happening. That means there's muscle growing. That means that it's doing something. So even with the amount of times that I stopped, I am still seeing progress. So that's all that matters really. So yes, without further ado, I will stop blabbing and we'll just get straight into the video. So I'm going to be speeding up the clips of me doing this exercise like quite a bit so it might be a little bit hard to follow along that's why I have left the link to the actual workout video in the description but I did just want to keep in how much that I like stopped during this first exercise and pretty much like the rest of the next like two to three days just purely because like I said I've got no muscles so it actually is like a lot harder than you think to do the challenge like completely without stopping. Well, it was for me at least. So yesterday I made the worst mistake that I could possibly make. And it was the fact that I didn't eat before I did the exercises. And when I tell you that I felt sick after, oh my gosh, even though it didn't look like a good attempt, it actually was. I used that much of my energy that I couldn't stand up and I felt so sick after. And I probably didn't have even a lot of energy to begin with to do the exercises with because I didn't eat before I started doing the exercises, which was stupid. And you know what? I did actually make this mistake last time I did this challenge and I didn't learn until day three of what was causing it. Um, so at least this time I realized before I went and did the challenge for the whole week So I made some tuna sweet corn pasta and this is gonna be my dinner Like I said, I'm just gonna be eating normally for the entire week But make sure you eat before you do the exercises. Trust me Eating before the exercises actually made such a difference Like I could not do the challenge again for the rest of the week without eating first Like it was the first thing on my mind just because of how hard it was the first day when I had literally no energy because I hadn't eaten anything. Um, so yeah, don't do that. But as you can tell already, like you can't see me stopping like as much and it's only day two and it was literally the only reason why was because I actually ate before. So it's now day five. Don't worry, I did actually do my exercises the last two days. But I just don't know what was up with me. Maybe it was because it was a weekend. I was just not in the mood to like put on a voice, do you know what I mean? And like be all loud. I didn't really want to like speak to a camera. So yeah, I didn't get much. Well, I didn't get any footage actually <laughs> the past two days other than me actually doing the exercises to obviously prove that I did do my exercises but it's not the weekend anymore so all of a sudden I feel fine like back to filming <laughs> so it is that time of the day again I don't really have any pain anymore the first two to three days I did have like a lot of soreness going on it's not really sore unless I'm actually doing exercises now I still can't do the exercises all the way through without having a break I can do like the odd one or two but like back to back to back exercises without having a break like I can't do that yet so if you guys don't 
don't know. Eating more protein will sort of like make the soreness go away maybe like faster. And the first couple of days I didn't really eat, get that much protein in. So I think that's why it took me a little bit longer to sort of like feel not that sore. Just keep sticking to it and I better keep sticking to it to be honest with you so let's go. So this day which was day five is actually the last day that it started being like properly physically sore um, when I was doing the exercises which is good but the last time I did the challenge I'm pretty sure it was day three or day four so yeah I guess it just varies for everyone and also obviously depends on what you're eating, how much protein you're consuming, all of that fun stuff so make sure you're actually eating to make sure that, that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> it feels like it's not getting easier, but it, it is, it definitely is. For dinner this day, I had one of these pasta salad pots from Asda. I love them, I've always loved these, and some grapes. As you can see, me devouring it right now. Day six, we had a bit of a rough day here because I set my alarm for 4am this morning and then got out of bed at 5am to get to work for 7am. I only finished at half six and then I had to still sign out and then get changed and then it was an hour journey home so I was knackered. By the time that you're seeing this clip, I really didn't want to be doing this because it had been a full day, literally. Full props for you guys that do that five days a week. I could ne- my mental health could never. <laughs> Good morning guys. I cannot believe it's the last day of this challenge already. Like it's been seven days already but it literally went way faster than i even remember it doing the last time i did this challenge the exercises have been getting easier like throughout the week but i don't feel like i've made as much progress as last time because i've like not been eating as much protein so i feel like last time i was able to like wear heavier shoes along the week because it wasn't like hurting me anymore and that was by like day four or five and like this week it still hurt me without any shoes on so yeah make sure you get your protein in if you're gonna be doing this challenge unlike me but i've just sat down to eat before i start doing the workout and i'm gonna have like half of this wrap you know the wraps you can get from like tesco and asda and that i'm gonna have half of it before and then half of it after so i've got something to like look forward to after my workout chicken salad wraps the one we have made it you guys today is the last day of the challenge i don't know whether it was just because i knew it was the last day so i was like trying harder to make sure that i didn't disappoint myself doing this like last day but it was well definitely the easiest day out of the week but i don't know if it was just a mindset thing but i definitely did need a break like you actually shouldn't do exercises back to back to back to back every single day because your muscles obviously do need time to grow and recharge so yeah just keep that in mind oh my gosh we're done. Honestly, you guys, I can't believe it's been seven days already. Like, it's gone so fast. And believe me, on day one, two, and three, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this challenge is gonna last forever. But it hasn't. And we're at the end of it. I have not looked at my results yet. I have no idea if it looks like that I've made progress because I do actually know that I have made progress because I was measuring my bum in inches so that I could give you guys the full rundown of how big my bum actually grew. And for seven days, I feel like it's grown so much. So I put the size of what my bum was before we started the challenge in my phone. So let me find it. So the results are in. In the span of one week, literally seven days doing this challenge, I have gained almost a full inch on my bum that's crazy when i first started this challenge i was just over 36 inches like just over and now i'm like almost 37 inches to be exact the measurement was exactly halfway between 36 and a half inches and 37 inches so it was like just that little bit in between so over half an inch and just below an inch of muscle in the last seven days you know what also i really feel like that's exactly how much i gained the last time i did this challenge as well which is so odd so if you've got a holiday coming up if you've got a wedding plan or if you just want to gain a bigger bum in seven days then i highly suggest doing this challenge i will leave everything that you need to know to be able to do this challenge in the description bar or the comments section i'll pin it to the top if i do we might do both but yes i fully recommend i feel like the results are worth it i'm still not sure if i'm going to carry on this video to the next week or not i'm not sure if i do i'm going to give myself like a day's break though because i can tell that my muscles really need it because they are still really sore like when I'm actually doing the exercises. So yes, you guys, is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like on this video down below and subscribe if you are new as it would mean the absolute world to me. And yes, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.